another handheld radio I'm going to use is the ICOM 705. And you're going right now, hey, Chris, come on. That's not a handheld. It is a handheld, and this is how ICOM sells it. And the, the higher-end handhelds are all going to work very similar to this. This happens to be the one that I have. I don't have the high-end Yesu. I don't have the ID52. I have the 705. So on my 705, I've already had, I've gone ahead and I've modded the, the adapter board in here. So I have a USB-C port on mine. So I'm going to be able to just plug that USB-C cable from the computer right into there. I'm going to turn my radio on. And I need a antenna for this. On the side of the radio, I'm just going to plug in a little DNC antenna into the side of it, so I'm ready to go. So on the on the 705, one of the things that I've set up on here is my memory. So I'm going to go into the memory, and I've gone ahead and I've gotten a group connected for digital that's in here. When I have that digital group selected, uh, then I already have the the different frequencies that I may need to operate on. So I'm on my 145.030 um, frequency. So I'm all set up on the correct frequency. Another nice thing about some of the higher end radios is they have presets inside of them. So if you go to the menu section and you go over to the second page on the ICOM radios, they have presets. And I actually have a preset that I've set up for WinLink here. So I have all the settings inside of the radio so that I don't have to go through and remember those each time. I can just come in here, hit that, activate that preset, and the radio is completely configured and ready to go for me. It's a really nice feature that is available on some of the higher end radios. But now I'm I'm actually all set up to be able to do this. I have the radio, it's on the correct frequency. Now I need to switch back over to my surface and make a couple of setting changes inside of my surface to make sure I'm configured for doing uh, Winlink or uh, VARA FM. Hit the drop down menu. I'm going to come up here to VARA FM. I'm going to open that session. Everything looks like it's fine, but it goes, oh, hey, that COM port that you were using before, it's broken. It's not set up correctly. And your port's not working. There's all kinds of problems that are going on here. So we got to fix that. We're just going to come over here into VARA. We're going to hit settings. We're going to go first into the sound card settings. And I'm just going to change this to make sure that I'm on my USB audio codec. That is the sound card names for what the ICOM uses. And they've already both come in for that. So that's good to go. Now I'm going to come back over here to settings. I'm going to come down here to PTT. And I'm going to change this over to CAT control. Now, once I change to CAT control, VARA has remembered what my previous settings were. So for an ICOM, uh, for instance, a 705, the ID52, like all of these, they're going to have the similar kind of settings. You select the brand of radio. What's the COM port? You can, again, go into the device manager, figure that out. What's the model of the radio? And you have to set the correct baud rate for this particular radio. I know that the ICOM is always set to 19.2, and I know what my CIV address is. So that's all good to go. I'll say, go ahead and close. Now, you might say, okay, we're ready to go. Unfortunately, what I found is the way to make sure that WinLink is going to talk properly, once you change radios and you change all these settings, just come back over to your WinLink session, go ahead and close the session, and then launch it again. And now you should get a clean launch that has all of the settings set up correctly uh, for your new interface that you're ready to go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit the start. And if the demo gods are with me, if I transmit over, you can see that I'm transmitting out of the 705 just fine. And I'm getting the connection directly into the gateway. It's that easy to just get the thing up and running and you're able to transmit your, your data back and forth. Now, I wasn't transmitting it. I didn't send any messages or receive any because there's none in the queue right now for me. But that's really as easy as it is once you get a higher end radio that's set up to be able to do this. 